Hey, Shalom, I'm Akim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, who allowed me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the word and only calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the word and only calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside him. Let's lock it. One second, Akim. Gotta throw the garment on. Please forgive me. All right. Shalom alaikum. Once again, I'm here with another lesson through the Spirit. Once again, I want to say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Makakwadash for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the Word and only calls God. Yahweh Shai is His Son, who the Word and only calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside Him. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit. And shalom to the elect, whom the Most High have given ears to hear. And the title of this lesson is going to be reverenced around the book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 11. It says, serve the Lord, which when you say Lord in all caps, that's Yahweh, with fear and rejoice with trembling. Main point, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. And it came by way of um my job. It came by way of my job because um, with my job, it's kind of like a, a process you got to go through to actually be, um, for like a better term, permanent. You know, you have to go through a five-month course. And if you pass this course, then you kind of, you know what I'm saying, you basically, it's kind of like a tryout. If you pass this tryout, then they can trust you. But um, there are certain particular tests which they call it practicals, which these practicals incorporate, these practicals incorporate um, tests. I mean, these practicals incorporate what you have learned throughout the course of that session, right? So if you learn this particular topic in this session, let's say you learn this particular topic for three weeks, on the fourth week, you'll get a practical to solidify or to, to see what you've been practicing on, right? And um, depending on who you are, you know, which a lot of guys and that I'm in uh, class with, they see really depending on who you are is shows what kind of favoritism you get, you know? Now, yeah, you could say it's fucked up, this, that, and the third, However, that's how this life is. Some people receive more favor than others. And, um, you know, you are always nervous until you finish the test. You're always nervous until you finish the test. And um, you don't know how your teacher's feeling at the time. So I liken that into this truth to where Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah always throws tests at us, you know, and we have to make sure that we pass with flying colors, you know, or at least show Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah that we have an idea of what we're talking about, you know, knowing that Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah is a just power and, um, you know, he, he, he sees our sincerity. He sees our sincerity. Now, um... Again, the scriptures say, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Right? We serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with fear, knowing that, you know, not really knowing or what the scriptures say, um, how his ways are higher than our ways. You know, not really knowing his thoughts on the matter or how he's feeling at that particular moment. You know? No, I don't know. I'll put Psalms. Isaiah 59. The scriptures say how his ways are higher than our ways. Bear with me, Akim. This is a. Uh,
Isaiah 55 and 9, for as, his, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are the ways, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. You know, because you could be thinking one thing on the test. Meanwhile, the test come and the instructor tests you on something whole, like something way more deeper than your thought plane. You know, meanwhile, your knowledge is less than what the instructor teaches. So even though you think you might know something, you don't really know nothing. The scriptures also say, if a man think if he stand, let him take heed lest he fall. You know, because we really don't know nothing, man. That's why that's another thing, you know, brothers that give views and accolades and likes. You really can't take that to heart, man, because it's more about who, what, yeah, how well by Shimmy, how shy she's you at, you know, and um, you may pass this test and fail the next one, or he may just be feeling some type of way at this point in time and want to get rid of you, want to cast you out of his sight, you know, because you pissing him off, you know, that's why the scriptures say, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Um, another thing I got from the class, this class is that, you know, you don't really know how serious it is until after your first test, you know, what the scriptures say, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation, you know, and, um, just to be quite honest, you don't really, you can't really understand its truth unless you're in it. Let the scriptures say before we come to the truth, we got to count the cost, which is why, you know, it's actually through wisdom. And when you think about it, mercy through your how about Shimmy, how shy, um, that he doesn't allow certain guys or a lot of guys into this truth for their benefit. Because you got to really clean up your act, clean up your ways, learn of what the Lord requires before you get into this thing. You know, so you can be prepared when that first test, that second test comes. Which after that first test, that's actually like a um a wake up call. So then when a second test comes, you know, you're prepared for it, or you're more prepared for it, because you don't know how the Lord's gonna come, but we more prepared for it. You know. Hey, the scriptures say that Yahweh by Shimei was shy is gonna come as a thief in the night. You know, so we gotta be prepared for these tests. But um, this is the book of Sirach, chapter eight. You know, it's a little willing, this is making sense. You know, especially for you new brothers. And even for some of the older brothers myself. You know, I'm not an older brother. I'm just saying, like, you know, it's just something I think of, like, you know, how we really got to rejoice with trembling because it is you might pass that test, you know. But now you better know that the next test is going to be harder because it's going to be the last test. You know, with more strain on it. You know? It's like, I don't expect you to know as much on the first day as I do the fourth month. You know? I don't expect you to know as much on the first day as I do the, the tenth day or as, as I do the thirtieth day. You know? So this is the book of um Sirach 8. Let me see. Well, I was actually thinking of what's that scripture? Um just going along with the uh, topic of the lesson. It says uh I think it says something like rejoice not when thy greatest enemy falleth. Like I know it says it right here, in Do uh, Sirach eight and seven. But it says, um, well, this one says, Rejoice not over thy greatest enemy being dead, but remember that we all die. You know? And it was, some, it, it was another one that's kind of saying the same thing, but basically saying, like, you could be in that, you know, you could be in that predicament. You know? So that's why we got to serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. You know? Knowing that, hey, Let's say, for example, you might do something that another brother did and he got away with it, but you won't. 
So that's why we got to rejoice with trembling, man, and walk on eggshells. You know, and constantly ask for forgiveness. Salakna ya wa kata'ayum. Before we pray. And um, do the things that's pleasing unto the Lord. Hey, the scriptures say arms covers the multitude of sins. You know, um, going out there on the highways and hedges, which is a, a sacrifice, is pleasing to the Heavenly Father. Right? Tobit 12, Romans 12. You know, these are things that are pleasing unto the Heavenly Father. So if that, Lord willing, you, I can edify, shalom to the elect.